the story of Sodom and the conversation that Hashem has with Avraham teach you about compensation plans that you can implement in your business tomorrow? So everyone has a number. Hashem started the conversation with Avraham. I just want to let you know. Am I going to really hide this from my top person in the world that I, what I'm about to do? Everyone has a number. Hashem said that his number was 50. But Hashem didn't need to ask Avram for permission. Hashem was the creator of the world. But Hashem saw Avram as a partner. Tip number one, when you're about to speak to someone, you're about to talk about compensation, their pay, something that they really care about, do you want to talk to them and see them as if they are your partner? Number two, you want to ask, what do they value? What exactly is it that Hashem knew that Avram valued? That Avram also understood Hashem valued. They both were talking to each other. If you look at the back and forth, they were both talking about what each one valued. Hashem valued having a certain quantity of a quality person called Sadiqim. And a certain minimum number, then it was worth keeping the whole city despite all the other things that Hashem wanted to destroy the city because of. However, Avram said, you know, there, maybe there's something else that I can give Hashem so to speak, give him something that I can offer in this negotiation. Hashem was basically listening to Avram because Hashem, I'm sorry, Avram understood that Hashem has a bottom number. And number three is that you have to understand everyone has a bottom number. Once you understand that you see them as your partner and you understand what they value. Now, by the way, in compensation plans, someone might value recognition. They might value uh, getting a parking spot up front right, with her name on it, it's that prestige. Maybe they value that their opinion carries weight, not just compensation, not just money. It might not be the only thing they value. It might, they might value that they can be included in important things. Maybe Avram cared to be included in the important mission of feeling like he had a, a meaningful say in saving the city of Sodom, not just because his lot lived there. So understanding there's a bottom number and Avram was trying to go from 50 all the way down to 10 to see what is God's bottom number. The other thing I love that you see in the story is setting the price. Avram set the price at 50 tzaddikim. But setting the price starting high, it's called price anchoring. It's a real negotiation tactic. But when you set the compensation and you set, sorry, you set the aspiration high and then you see how much lower can we get. When you're setting up a compensation plan, you want to look at the biggest number in the business, total revenue, and then you want to actually break it down into smaller chunks based upon who's supposed to get what and what the different expenses are. It's a whole science. But too many people, when you're, when you're negotiating with someone, too many people ask for the budget. Hey, we want to sell you the service. What's your budget? Which is basically a word for what's the lowest number that you, the prospect, are hoping that me, the business owner or salesperson, is willing to get paid to do this work for you. Right? No prospect says, hey, I'm looking to spend uh, five times more than whatever you, this, the salesperson or the business owner, would charge. Right? So the key is to st- set the number high. Because once you set the number high like Hashem did, Hashem understood Avram's probably going to negotiate. So start the price anchoring at a higher number and then start going lower, right? When you're setting up compensation plans, you want to look at what's the highest number we can give and then start to go lower from that to say, okay, where else in the company or where else to the owners or investors do we need to actually divert some of the some of the profit, some of the revenue? But don't go back and forth more than five times. And this is the this is number six. It kills the sale. And if you look at Avram and Hashem, they don't go back more than five times because at some point it starts to lose fuel, starts to lose energy and momentum. There's actually a bonus one. Number seven is like this. After they already figured out what's the highest number, what's the lowest number the person has, Hashem knew. Hashem knew. Sorry, Avram knew that Hashem would be sold on 50 righteous people. And he brought them all the way down to 10. But the way that he did it, and this is number seven, I love this. The way that he did it is every single time Avram presents a new number, he doesn't say the same thing. He changes his words. He changes his tone. When he pitches a lower number in the negotiation, it's such a smart strategy. He changes his approach of how he delivers that. From 40, 50 to 45, he says, Ulai yachsrun chamishim tzaddikim. What if there's, what if we're missing, you know, five, five on the way down from 50 to 45? From 45 to 40, he says, Vayosef ol the love. And he continued, Ulai Maybe we can find 40, 40 to 30. Then he says, <clears throat> Like he's speaking with a more appeasing tone. He does the same thing, changing his words from 30 all the way down to 10. Tune in next week if you want to hear some amazing negotiation strategies for real estate purchasing.